My sisters, I want to tell you something one of my relatives told me. You know, nowadays the industry of makeup has become serious. It's become face painting rather than, you know, makeup. It's become something totally different. It used to be makeup. People used to say halal, haram. We used to say, okay, within certain limits. Nowadays it's become so, so much. And one of my relatives says, we get lazy to fulfill salah because you're holding in your wudu knowing that, you know what? I don't want to break my wudu because I don't want to remove my makeup. If that's the case, go without makeup. You might be saying, what did he say? I'm honest with you. If you have a choice, and if that's going to shift you out of salah, make it qada, you know? We have qada, we have salah that is shortened and perhaps, you know, read in a different way in journey. There's no verse of the Quran that says, when you've put makeup, the same rule applies. There isn't. So if you want to make Allah happy, if you're in pursuit of the pleasure of Allah, you will know your limits. And if you have to make wudu, so what? I will wipe it off. I will take it out. I will make my wudu correctly. And then I will earn the pleasure of Allah. I will fulfill my salah. But that comes first. Something's just come to my mind. I'm going to share it with you because I don't know when next we'll get an opportunity to speak. You see, sometimes there are certain things that are questionable. If you know halal is clear, haram is clear, in the middle there is something that may not be so clear. The hadith teaches you to stay away from it to save yourself. That's the hadith. In Sahih Muslim, it's a hadith of Numan ibn Bashir. It's a powerful hadith. Everyone should know it. So one of the examples is, I was asked once, and I didn't do deep research, okay? I was asked once about a certain type of nail polish. And people told me, you know what? It's breathable. And then others say, it's not breathable. And others say, can we, can we not? So I said, forget about breathable, not breathable. There is an argument, okay? You agree. For one inch of paint, how much? For one inch of paint, I don't want to arrive on the day of judgment and suddenly find out, you know what? All your salahs were wrong. You say, oh no, man. I don't want to find out on the day of judgment that because of one inch of paint, when there were other alternatives such as henna or anything else that nobody argued with, because of one inch of paint, all my salah was not in order. And the opinion that stated that it was not valid was the correct opinion. And I find that out on the day of judgment. In Arabic language, it's called khurujan min al khilaf. To come out of the difference of opinion, do that which is safer. You're not going to die without putting a specific thing on your nails. You're not going to die without these things. I promise you. It's not going to kill you. People won't even notice. So what? We just wanted people to say, wow, it looks nice. And your salah is gone. Everything's gone. Subhanallah. It looked nice, but it wasn't in pursuit of the pleasure of Allah. It was in pursuit of the comments of the people. That's what Instagram's all about. That's what Facebook's all about. That's what fingernail group book is all about. If, if there is a book called fingernail group book. Can't even say it. Because Facebook is supposed to be the face. I don't know. They show everything but the face. So my brothers and sisters, in reality, just be focused upon the pleasure of Allah. You'll enjoy the world. Dunya hasana, akhirati hasana. The last part of the dua is, waqina adhab an-nar. Oh Allah, give us goodness in this world. Give us goodness in the hereafter. Save us from the punishment. Save us from the punishment of the fire. We all would like to be saved. My brothers and sisters, I hope that I've touched on uh, the pursuit of the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why it is? And also a few examples of how to be able to achieve it, to be focused, inshallah, on that which is coming. It's definitely coming. There's no point in being frightened about death because it's definitely going to come and take every one of us. Rather prepare for it. We are concerned. We are worried to a certain extent because we have to. But we know definitely there is something far better awaiting us. And that is the pleasure of Allah.